Hey guys, it's Lily. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and here on YouTube. And today is the last video of my 60-pound Nashville Vins haul. Glad to get all of this on there and hopefully list in. And remember, if there's anything you like in my video, just shoot me an email and we'll work out a price. Um, it's usually pretty significant for what I am have it listed for or going to list it for. All right. This first item is a Capelli hat. Now, the name got me to go ahead and get this, even though it needs a little bit of attention. Um, it is suede and leather, I believe. Let me see. Well, it doesn't say. I'm just going to go with, I don't know. Um, feels like it's suede leather. Anyway, it's a cute hat and it's got a lot of stuff on it, but, um, it just needs to be lint rolled and shaped a little bit, but I thought the name was good. I could be wrong, Capelli. Um, but like I said, I do not take the time to comp anything out while I'm there because I can't just go there when I want to go there. Um, so I take advantage of the time I have to just choose things. Now, if it's something really significant, I may do that. But usually, no, I'll just grab and comp them out later and take my losses if I have any. Okay, I got this little coach wristlet. Excellent condition. Absolutely, like, no wear inside is great here's the creed it is a 6094 knot factory nice little coach wristlet so that actually some guy threw that at me because i was looking at some purses and um he threw one at me and, and it was a vera bradley and i didn't like that specific one so i said no but they don't really sell well he didn't speak any English, but he knew coach because he said coach and he threw it at me. And I'm like, yeah, I'll take the coach. So I got a coach because then people are vultures. And I saw coaches when they rolled out the new bins. And man, it's a fight. Let me tell you. All right. But I did pick up this Vera Bradley. Um, this has got the pleated um, front here. Nice pattern. It does have a slip pocket in the front here, two of them, one on each side. Handles are good. Inside is really good, nice pattern, um, really good condition. So I'm going to pick it up for less than a dollar because that's about what it costs me as light as it is. All right. This one troubles me. When I saw this, I grabbed it. I put it in the buggy. I wanted to comp it, but I thought, well, you know what? Even if it's not authentic, um, somebody's still going to want it for 50 bucks. Or I can give it to my daughter when she goes back to school because she doesn't care if it's authentic or not. But I did look a little bit. We got a Prada. It is a messenger bag slash briefcase what bothers me with this one all the signs look great the inside the lining is right you've got the Prada's going in one direction and upside down in the other and you've got all the right markings on there the stitching looks great this is nylon but there's nothing on the zipper and I know this is vintage because I did find some similar to these zipper pulls and they all said vintage, but I'm still not convinced because there's no, nothing on the zippers, on the underside of the zippers. The only branding, and it's branded excessively, <clears throat> so that bothers me. Anyway, the inside lining is the way it's supposed to be. I've got this tag here that matches the bag, the 
R is not so right, but then vintage days, the R wasn't so right. So I've got a lot of research to do. Um, everything's spelled right, the lining's right. Um, it's got the rubber red tag there. Every zipper pull is rubber like this that says Prada and it's two two of them and they both say Prada on both sides and there's several zippers there's one there here's one here's one here's one and here's one you got one everywhere there's a zipper and there's a lot of zippers there's that same tag to me that's really excessive but I don't know and it's expandable so I you know it's gonna take me a while to research this because I do not sell things that are not authentic um, but it is expandable another two to three inches so that's nice um yeah and nothing special about the shoulder strap or the hardware so yeah i'm just really i'm questioning it but it's a nice bag so i will keep that to research and see what happens on that one i'm not sure why i picked this one up oh because it was a fossil and it was numbered and no i'm not a fossil fan but I thought this was just really cute and adorable for upcoming spring. And there's a lot of people out there that just love fossils. So, and it was in great condition. The bag's in good condition. The handle's in good condition. And the inside is in great condition. So, yeah. Just needs to be cleaned here. That looks like it'll come right off whatever it is but yeah I thought so I thought that was a good pickup for spring now this was a bad pickup but I was in a frenzy this is towards the very end and I had a little pile of stuff in my basket that I was gonna look through and put back what I wasn't sure of it reminds me I didn't bring a jacket in here um, but someone took my phone off of my cart when I was digging in one of the bins, one of the big like Gaylord bins. And I started panicking. I went to, it was closing time. So I'm thinking, oh my God, whoever it is, they're gonna, they're gonna just walk out the door with my phone. So I went to the, one of the employees cause they were telling me that it was time to check out and you know, they were closed and no more looking. And I'm like, you don't understand. My phone is gone. Can you call my phone? And that man, I got to tell you, he rang my phone over and over again for almost 30 minutes. And I was running around. There was this lady that kept following me around. And um, all these bins were open to search in. And didn't matter what bin I went to, she was right behind me and throwing stuff in my face. And she didn't speak English. You know, so she was already annoying. So I had a feeling, because she was bothering me so much for the last half hour or so that I was there, and I was so I was looking for her, and I was running around all over while he was ringing my phone over and over and over again, listening for it. And you know they got overhead music going and all that, and I was just I was panicking because I didn't know how I was going to get home without my uh, GPS, the Google Maps, because I mean you know I don't know Nashville very well. Just getting to the freeway would have been a nightmare. So. Finally, after about 30 minutes, I hear it. And guess whose basket it's in? Under all their shit. I mean, you know, sorry for the language. But they didn't speak English. Her and the other girl, they didn't speak English. But I bent my head down to the basket and I looked at that guy. And I said, it's in their basket. And he got it. Um, he went to go get it out of their basket and she wouldn't let him. And um, then she started typing something on her phone because she didn't speak English to have it translated or whatever. And I was like, just give me my damn phone, lady. What, what the hell? Right? Well, I ended up getting my phone 
back and they made them leave and didn't let them purchase the stuff in their basket. So, hmm, ha. You don't, you don't take people's things. I mean, you don't touch people's baskets. What? I mean, they've got bins. You go to the bins, you don't look in someone else's basket. If it's in a basket, somebody's already got it. Leave it alone. Really? Have some integrity. Anyway, I panicked. I got my phone. <laughs> my whole life's on that phone. It was horrible. But anyway, this is one of the pickups that I didn't throw back. It is not worth but 10 bucks, maybe. Um, it is, I mean, and it's overly saturated on Poshmark. It's a Stephanie Johnson for sex, Fifth Avenue. I mean, it's a beautiful bag. It needs to be cleaned out on the inside just a little bit. I see back in that corner there. Um, probably polyurethane. I don't think it's, uh, leather, patent leather or anything. But it's oversaturated. And I need, you know, just needs a cleanup. But, you know, I probably won't clean it up for that cheap. Doubt it. But yeah, that was a bad pickup. I should not have picked that up. This one I didn't get to comp. This is another leather handbag that the leather feels wonderful. But I didn't remember. I don't know the name. Genuine Leather Contessa. Made in India. The leather... It's, I can tell it's lamb's leather. It's just beautiful and soft. And it's just like a hobo bag. No, no wear to the strap. It's a nice shoulder hobo bag. I don't see any... No wear. No nothing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to look this one up. This is a great bag. The lining needs to be cleaned. I mean, it's not that bad, but, you know, I'll clean it. Um, but a beautiful lamb's leather, no doubt. Let's see if I found another tag other than that one that just says leather. But it's just absolutely... The leather is gorgeous. That's all I got to say. Very soft and old. It's just really nice. Contessa. Right? Is that what I said? Contessa? C-O-N-T-E-S-S-A. -S made in India. So yeah, if you guys want to look that up, this might be a bolo. I don't know. But um, it sure is a nice taupe colored bag. And um, this was another thing I was going to throw back. Bagalini. People like their bagalini. The reason I picked it up is because it's one of those organizer that you hang when you travel. And it was in like perfect condition. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four sections on the inside. And then it's got a zipper on the outside. It's pretty deep. It goes. It goes a good 18, 20 inches, which you can stuff stuff in on the back side. So if you're just going for a weekend or something, your clothes and shoes and all your toiletries can fit in this one little thing. And, oh, it's got another zipper compartment. Look, it's got another one up here that is, uh, yeah, it's separate from the clear ones. So that's pretty cool. So maybe it was a decent pickup. But you just fold it up and you go. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so never mind. I'm glad I did not put that back. So if nobody wants that, I'm sure I can use it someday. This might be a keeper only because Jan and Bryn sent me one in the box that she sent me all the headbands in and I love it they sent me a black one and I found a white one sports bra um, and it zips in the front and I love it so I may keep this for me I don't know hard for me to find um, I don't know
know this brand. I do know it, but I don't know it. This www. I think this might even be a Walmart. Who, what, where, maybe? I don't know. Um, but I just loved this shirt. Uh, it'd be great in the summer, just around the house when nobody's looking at you because you can't really wear a bra unless you put a tank under it. But it's back goes really low. It's got this around the back. Just a really light, flowy cotton t-shirt. I thought this would go good with those funky white pants I showed you in the first video. Good for around the house. All right, what time is it? My Ollie bug is gonna be home from school. 10 minutes, so I gotta hurry up. Okay. Leilani, decent brand, bread and butter brand. Just a really cute summer skirt. And I believe it's a size large. It's browns and greens, that color combination. I just love it. I think this is a large. Well, it doesn't have a size tag. I don't know. I mean, I could get in it, but you know, I'm not wearing anything this uh, short. So I'm I'm going to say a medium to a large. And it's it's a really cute skirt for the summertime. I'll just measure that. All right, Chico's so slimming. Don't normally pick up Chico's anymore because I can't sell it. I can sell the jewelry, but not the clothing. Um, size 1, short. So slimming, black jeans. Um, these were in excellent condition, like new condition. They are short, so an average size person, I would, I would still wear them as ankle jeans. Because um, I think I have an inseam of 30, and these are probably about a 28. They would be nice ankle jeans. Excellent condition. And that's probably my size. I don't know. These I just got because they were cute. And I like Matilda Jane. Size 4 to 6 girls. They are tights. Look, check these out. Check those tights out. Very clean. I did wash them. They washed up nice. They would go cute under a little girl's dress. Um, I thought they were cute. They won't bring much, but they were cute. All right, Crown and Ivy, just a bread and butter pickup. It's a cute boho style shirt, size large, lots of embroidery, um, bell sleeves, just cute chambray denim, but it's cotton. Nice. So yeah, I thought that was cute too. All right, we have a leather skirt. And it is a deerskin leather skirt, size 16, beautiful skirt. These were selling, um, for a decent amount. I can't remember, um, all I can remember is that it was, a, I was glad I picked it up. I mean, it was under 100, it was probably... 50 60 range something like that I don't remember but just a nice deerskin leather skirt genuine leather so definitely has to be sent to a leather cleaner person this cute no brand size 4x just a cute psychedelic very lightweight shirt short sleeve gotta love it that go just without anything. I like that. I thought it was cute, so I picked it up. But, you know, it's not going to go for much because it doesn't even have a brand. Okay, pink. Cute gray little hoodie in great condition. Size small, petite. Small. Very nice hoodie. Very good condition. No peeling. No, nothing. All the Victoria's Secret stuff I picked up was in like new condition. Um, here's another Victoria's Secret pink. 
fleece. The hood is fleece. Um, it's a sweatshirt. It says pink. And it's got the two pockets in the front, or the one pocket that goes all the way through in the front. I can't remember the name of that pocket, but there's a name for it. That was in good shape. And with that, I believe these sweats, I found them in the same bin, so probably by the same person. Also a size small, um, just a pair of shorts, I mean, sweats. There's your pink logo. Excellent condition. I'm probably going to match that up in a set. If it doesn't sell, I'll that way I'll split it. I know some people don't like sweats. All right. This. <clears throat> I am not sure how this goes. This is an airy scoop swimsuit top. Excellent condition. That's why I picked it up. Okay, so this is the back. Um, and I'm guessing it ties in the front. Let's see. What time is it? I gotta get out there. Probably. Yeah, something like that. Cute. Yeah, I'm going to have to get out there, so I'm going to have to pause you. All right, we got a CSI t-shirt. There's always a clue. I don't size medium. I picked this up because that's what I have my degree in. I have my degree in criminal justice, justice with emphasis on crime scene preservation. So I was partial to that. I picked it up. I said, if it doesn't sell, I'll keep it for me. I'm going to pause you because i got to get Ollie Bug off of the bus, so I will be right back. Okay, not quite time yet. All right. Um, JLT Sport Collection, size 18. They look awfully small for 18, but these were like brand new. I did wash them, however, because that's just what I do. So, uh, bikini bottoms. And here I have a peach, extra large, just one of those nice polyester, silky feeling, athletic shirts. Got the thumb holes. Yeah. Just a nice pattern. It was in excellent condition. Feels really nice, nice weight to it. I really like that. These I also like, they're not worth much. Persona, size 31. Stretch pants in an olive green. Um, wide leg at the bottom, just, just a nice pair of pants. And I will probably end up keeping those if I try them on and they fit. Here we have a Zara black denim skirt. This was also new, but I washed it because it smelled like Goodwill. Um, these are going for 30, 40 bucks. I did look that up. Crazy. Spanx. Pants. Spanx. Pants. Like uh, jeggings. Front pockets are faux. The back pockets are usable. Um, size small. I've never seen Spanx in a pant. So that was neat. I've not looked it up. I don't know what they're worth. I know Spanx are, um, go for a good amount of money. But they're size small. Who size small needs Spanx? I guess you do, because they make them. I don't know. And this is a Bella and Canvas shirt. I liked it because it was really soft. It's kind of that see-through. And I liked the saying. It says, would I rather be feared or loved? Easy. Both. I want people to be afraid of how much they love me. Michael Scott. <laughs> it's a cute shirt. What size did I say it was? Size medium, but it's an oversized. It's a cute shirt. 
And that is it. My third and final. I did get an Alfani men's suit jacket that I was meant to put back and didn't get it put back. So I'm just going to either sell it or donate it. Um, it's a good big size, so we'll see. But thanks for hanging out with me on these three videos. I appreciate it. I hope you liked everything that I chose to put in my closet for sale. And maybe even you liked a few things. If you did, shoot me an email and we'll work out a good price. So I will talk to you guys later. Lily out.